I am Dr. Suvashis Maji from School of Engineering and Technology along with me Mr. Danis Rasid, an eminent expert from industry joining us for this discussion. Today's topic is concrete technology. This topic is from your course that is concrete technology and construction techniques that is code of that course is ET 522. As you all know that concrete is the most widely used man-made construction material in the world. It is obtained by mixing cementitious material, water, aggregate and sometimes admixtures and flyers. When it is placed in form and allowed to cure, it will become a rock like structure. There is a chemical reaction between water and cement and it continues over time that is why the concrete grows stronger and stronger in the passage of time. In the rock like structure that is a concrete, the void space of the coarse aggregate is being filled by the fine, aggregate, fine aggregates and the void space of fine aggregates are being filled by cement and that is why we are getting a hardened mass that is concrete. There is a chemical reaction, cement and water forms a paste. It not only fills the void space of the fine aggregate, but also makes the coating on the surface of fine and coarse aggregate and that is why binding them as a concrete mass. Now, the final product that is concrete depends on the several factors. It depends upon the quality of ingredients. What are those ingredients? The ingredients of concretes are water, cement, aggregates, we call it fine aggregates as well as coarse aggregate. Sometimes admixtures are also being added to give additional quality for the final product and of course, the flyers. Cement generally are used that is the Portland cement. It is obtained by burning of a mixture of argillaceous naturally occurring compound that is argillaceous call it alumina and calcareous that is the calcium carbonate. It is being heated to a partial fusion at a temperature of 1450 degree centigrade and when it is cooled that is known as clinker and it is grounded in a very fine particle and we get the final product that is cement. And Sometimes, plaster of Paris or gypsums are also being added to adjust the setting time. It also improves the soundness of cement if we add plaster of Paris or gypsum along with clinker. And it also, as I mentioned that it also improves the quality of cement and there are different qualities of cement available in the market. And the the, the type of cement are being chosen as per the requirement of the customers. Now, in as a layman, when we use the thumb rule, we know very well that how to get concrete by ordinary method. That is, the thumb rule says that 1 is to 2 is to 4 ratio, 1 bag cement, 2 bags sand and 4 bags coarse particles, that is the aggregates, we call it aggregates. But nowadays, the quality of construction is changing. Sometimes a high quality of concrete are being required. Say for example, when you build a, a flyover or a multi storied building, definitely we should have the high grade concrete and the grading of concretes are different for different purposes. Say we can have very high quality, high grade concrete that defines M60 to M80 that is the grade is being defined. Today we are here to discuss much about concrete. The concrete it is not simply simply a mixture of its ingredients like water, cement, aggregates, mixtures and flyers for some times. It is not a simple mixture. The concrete technology is now coming up because the concrete is the basic building say material or we can we are using in different construction work and India is making 
170 million cubic meter of concrete annually. It is an industry because so many uh, works are involved for making concrete. There are suppliers for cement, there are suppliers for uh, aggregates, there are suppliers for admixtures. So, it, is it has become an industry and the recent data says that 40 million jobs are being involved in different construction technology. Today, we will discuss 